What is going on guys? I want to quickly give you five reasons why anxiety is causing your acne. And if you already have acne problems, anxiety and stress is going to shoot those symptoms through the roof. So let's get right into it. Without further ado, number one, whenever you have high levels of stress and anxiety, that's going to give your body a stress response. And what happens is your adrenaline kicks in and your blood flow goes up. You know, your heart rate's elevated, your blood pressure's elevated. You get all these, you know, anxious symptoms. But along with that, guys, is blood flow, all right? And blood flow is now starting to move away from areas like your skin and move to areas that are more vital for survival, okay? It's encoded in our DNA for it to work that way. So it's sending it to like the lungs, your core, your heart. More blood's going to those areas. So whenever you don't have blood flow directly with your skin, or at least it's significantly decreased, it's going to cause other skin problems, okay? Like rashes, acne. If you have psoriasis or eczema, it's going to make things much, much worse. So that's the first one, is our body stress response causes blood flow to go to our more centralized areas for survival, okay? Number two, stress can cause inflammation. Inflammation is the root cause of many and most diseases, you know, whether that be heart disease, okay, or cancer, okay? That's why you don't want to have a lot of stress in your life whenever you're going through these major illnesses and sicknesses, okay? I did a video on can anxiety make you sick. Sometimes it can make you sick, but it can really keep you sick. So if you have a major disease, you always want to be positive. You want to be, uh, you know, moving forward and not being depressed and sad and stressed because it's only going to hinder your recovery or make your disease worse. So the same thing applies to your skin. Inflammation, inflammation excuse me, can definitely make your skin worse. Okay, number three, the immune system can be compromised and suppressed by high levels of stress and anxiety. So, like I was saying before, it can actually sometimes cause you to get colds, but the biggest issue with this, guys, it'll make you stay sick longer. So if you have a skin condition, your body is not going to be able to fight off those toxins, the bacteria, the germs, things that are clogging up your pores or your follicles. It's not going to be able to ward off those things. So in return, your acne may worsen or stay constant, okay? So number four, this is an interesting one. Anxious people tend to mess with their skin more, pick at themselves, squeeze, rub, all that stuff, all right? I was one of those people. Um, I was really self-conscious. I was always worried about the way that I looked. This caused more anxiety on me. I was always a naturally anxious person. I didn't have panic attacks or anything like that. Those didn't blossom until my early 20s but it was definitely in the making from a young age. And as a teenager, I was obviously having issues with acne. Um, whenever you're putting your hands on your face, you're putting oil on your face, okay? Um, you're also squeezing, especially if a pimple hasn't come to a head, you're just gonna irritate that. It's gonna redden the skin, irritate the skin. Um, you're spreading germs, you're spreading toxins, you're making pimples worse. Even these things, these things can even lead to infection, okay? Uh, there's people that have had really, really deep um, acne, really, really deep pimples that were not ready to be, you know, squeezed or whatever, and they mess with them, and they actually had to go to the ER and get, you know, medicine for it because they caused an infection. All right, it really got clogged up in there, and the pus built up because they're actually squeezing that pore together. That leads me to number five. All right, your body is going to produce more oil whenever it's stressed out, and this oil is going to clog your pores, it's going to clog your follicles, and it's going to lead to more acne. All right. So what are some short-term things that you can do? This is tough because everybody's different. There are things like proactive and things like that, but uh, some things that I would recommend, just look into some natural face cleanses. Make sure that you're bathing at least once a day, okay? If you just got done working out and you have oil on your face, make sure that you clean your face. Make sure that your hands are always clean, all right? Keep Germex around, that's gonna help. Um, you can stop picking at your face, stop messing with your face, stop trying to pop pimples all the time. Um, do not use rubbing alcohol like I did whenever I was younger. Uh, rubbing alcohol might dry out the pimple, but it's going to irritate the skin and cause dry skin, and that's not good for your skin. It's not healthy. Um, I used witch hazel occasionally, which did the trick. It dried out the pimple. It didn't really irritate my skin so much. So find some cleansing pads that you can use. But aside from that, guys, if you're a teenager, that's just some hormonal changes, but your anxiety can definitely make that worse. But if you're an adult, and you're having acne from stress, then you need to work on your stress and anxiety, okay? Um, so ways that you do that, obviously you're gonna be dieting, it's gonna be exercising, and when I say dieting, I don't mean necessarily going on some crazy crash diet, it means just eating a plant-based diet, you know, eating things that are more healthy for you, lean meats, fruits and vegetables, that's gonna help a lot. 
Uh, get rid of the caffeine. That's something that's going to help you out because caffeine really makes acne a lot much worse. So sodas and energy drinks especially. An occasional cup of coffee isn't going to hurt you. Um, but if you have issues with anxiety, you probably don't want to have a lot of coffee either. Um, make sure that you're meditating, guys. This is really going to help you focus on your future goals and how you want your day to go and your life to be in the future. Focus on what issues that you have and how you can eliminate those. Do this in the mornings and evenings because this is whenever you're going to have the biggest, biggest impact on your subconscious mind. Also, make sure that you're keeping a journal. A guy talked to me last night. He's finally got his journal and he got started and he's excited about it. There's journals you can get online. There's workbooks that you can go through that help you with your anxiety, which reminds me, click the description down below because I have some great resources on how you can uh, defeat your anxiety books and things like that. So be sure to check that out, guys. Keep fighting every single day and don't give up. Like this video if you got some value. Leave me a comment down below if this is something that you've struggled with and if you got any tips for the viewers. Also, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so you can get updates whenever I have my videos. Also, join the Facebook group for panic attacks, uh, depression, anxiety support, things of that nature. It's a great group, guys. We're getting close to 300 members now, so I'm excited about that. Uh, join the social networks down below, and I hope you have a great day, guys. Thanks a lot.